Miami to have on the show Chicago's own uh, by way of L.A. Com- uh, uh, some people y'all say, you know, he's a comedian, but this man has his own practice. And um, uh, he has uh, two locations, Chicago, L.A., and you're opening up a new practice in Dallas and you're doing relationship therapy, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm giving free examples this weekend. <laughs> okay, and uh, so so Corey, what 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 got you, what got you into relationship therapy? Um, failure. A lot of girls that I thought I could keep, I kept failing with them. So I started studying the reason why, because I used to think it was me, but I found out a lot of these girls are expecting me to do what I do. That's why they get with me. They wait on it. They right. want to be destroyed. So you saying it. the girls want to be destroyed? Yes. Why else would you deal with me? I sit at the house and I talk to their kids. I'm like, do you know why I'm here? <laughs> <laughs> I'm here to destroy what's left of your family, little boy. So, 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 Corey, uh, when ladies when ladies come into your uh, therapy session or whatever, what's some of the most common questions they ask you, and, and how do you respond? Um, they always talk about they always talk about cheating, and um, it's just like with my my ex wife. Um, When I met my wife, I had a girlfriend, and I explained to them, was he cheating in the beginning? And they were like, yeah, yeah. So they actually think you're going to stop cheating because you're with them. (laughs) This is hilarious. I'm not going to stop because of you. I want to stop cheating when I'm not functional anymore. Other than that, I'm going to cheat. That's what women need to understand. Right. You can't stop So, so stop I mean, it. And, and Corey, we all know you do stand-up comedy, but you, but this this therapy is a is a real is a real practice, and, and you're really helping people out. And and you know that, Ricky. That's why you're saying that. I'm here. I was here. I'm here on a mission from God. I'm here to help you understand how you destroyed yourself. So what's the best advice you can give a woman that wants that monogamous relationship? They really want that one man, and that's it. I would tell her to date herself. (laughs) If you you want to be with somebody who's only going to be with you, you're the only one who's going to do that, (laughs) ma'am. A faithful husband is a sickly man. That's what I need you to understand. If you have a a healthy husband, if your husband has a gym membership, he's not with only you. Oh, that's cold. (laughs) I know it hurts. It's shocking, but it's not meant to hurt you. I'm here to help you. If your husband take pride in himself, um, it's a reason for that. (laughs) So, Cora, can you read off some of of the names? Can you just read off uh, some of the names? And uh, you have a whole list of uh, names of men that cheat. Yeah, um... I don't really have to go through all of it. The, the, the people on the list is all of them. Uh, and, uh, if you have a just, favorite, just give us some of the names of men that you just some of them. Uh, me, uh, <laughs> my homeboy. Uh, Somebody like name like Robert. Like, I, I don't know a faithful Robert. Do you know a faithful Robert? If, if your man Corey, named Robert. Read the list. You got the list right in front of you of names of men that cheat. Names of men that cheat. I don't see the list. <laughs> I don't see the, they blew that. But I'm just saying, it's all of them. All healthy men. If your man can walk to the car and open the door, he cheats. <laughs> so, I, I know that's shocking, so Corey, ladies. So, Corey, in your opinion, what 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 are some of the jobs, like occupations, uh, if, the, if you say, hey, this man work on this job right here, he's definitely a cheater. Name some of the jobs. that. Uh, what comes to your mind? If he's a preacher. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Oh, God. No, a lot of my homeboys started preaching. It's a great way. I'm going to start preaching. I actually got my uh, pastorship offline. I can marry people legally now. Oh, really? Yeah. You know you can get it offline. You didn't know that, Ricky? I didn't know that. You can go online and become a pastor. I'm about to open up the um, Holcomb Christian Life Center (laughs) in one of these small towns where (laughs) I can easily impress people. It won't be a big city church. These girl, these people in the city, they know. They, they be like, I don't trust you, Corey. I mean, oh, you're a city folk. But like, you got to go to real small towns where people are impressed by people with the um, exclusive Jordan zone. <laughs> right. So, Val- so uh, Corey, Valentine's Day coming up. Uh, what, what should the ladies expect for Valentine's Day? Disaster. Uh, I want to <laughs> let you know, ladies, that box of chocolate is his way of letting you know he took time out of his busy schedule to remind you you are somewhat important to him, okay? 
If you if you don't see him on Valentine's Day, it's not a coincidence. There are people on the priority list in front of you. Stop using up all your phone minutes. <laughs> so is there a certain is there a certain gift list that you advise guys to get for their, their their girl this year? Well, it depends on who the girl is. Some girls who are um, independent and have good jobs, you have to go out your way for them. But a lot of the girls that you deal with, who um, are in Walmart late hours of the night. <laughs> Um, they're happy with mostly everything you get them. <laughs> I got this girl a sweatshirt that had um, Dennis Rodman face on it when he was in shape, and she was <laughs> she was very impressed with that. She was very. I was like, <laughs> so so so. All right, let's switch it up on your comedy. So I'll let everybody know uh, where you're gonna be performing, and you perform. You do stand up comedy, but you you do a little throw in a little therapy, free therapy out there for everybody that want to see you perform. And I know you're going to be at the Addison Improv. And uh, when you're going to be in... Uh, this weekend I'm uh, at the Addison Improv. We got shows Friday and Saturday and you need to come there. All you couples who think you're happy, come find out why you don't sleep at night. <laughs> wow. And you're going to help them with all of that. That's right. There's so many couples who fake happiness and, and go through things like that. I'm here to remind you that you're not happy and you're just obligated unless you want a court date. <laughs> and you're going to be in uh, Arlington, Texas and Chicago. Yeah, yeah. I'm around. I get around. Ricky, let me tell you something. This is one of the things I wanted to say before I got off because, you, you know. Yeah. I want to say to all uh, girls, stop falling in love with your sugar daddy. You're making a victim out of me. <laughs> I'm serious. So, I, so I, stay, I, stay in love with a main dude. That's right. You Don't sh- fall in love with the sugar stay daddy. Stay in love with the dude who care. I buy you stuff to stay around. I'm not here to say. <laughs> this girl was like, it was my birthday and you didn't call me. I was like, right. I'm, I'm not that guy. I'm the sugar daddy. <laughs> I call you when no one else answers the phone. That's- oh, wow. Comedian Corey Holcomb. Yeah, y'all. Comedian Corey Holcomb. Y'all check him out, man. It's a whole different kind of comedy and his therapy practices. Uh, front page coming up next. Ricky's about the morning. Love you, Ricky. <laughs>